Hey guys, uh, for today's video, I was asked to write the Biot Savart law that has a Q and V in it and describe how it all works. So, uh, the Biot Savart law, spelled like this. Goes something like this. The B vector equals U naught over 4 pi times Q V sine theta over R squared. Uh, this uh, B has a is a is a vector, so um, and so it has direction, and that direction is dictated by the right, right hand rule. Okay, so that's the B out of art law. B equals u naught over 4 pi times q v sine theta over r squared. The direction is dictated by the right hand rule. Um, okay, let's go through the um, variables and uh, say what they all mean. So this u, this u naught uh, isn't a variable, it's a constant. Uh, u naught is uh, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th uh, teslas times meters over amperes. Um, so that's u naught. it's just a constant. Um, charge Q, that, uh, that comes from the charge that uh, your, your point charge has in this case. Um, so let's call this our, our charge, and it has some um, has charge Q and Q is in coulombs, which is represented by a capital C. Okay, let's put the, some axes on this uh, on this charge. Okay, um, call this the X. X and Y and Z and um, okay, so let's give this this charge a, a velocity. That's what the V stands for in the equation. So V is the velocity of the charged particle. in volts, that's the unit, capital V, okay, and um, for, uh, to find R and sine theta, we need a point, the point from which we're trying to find uh, the magnetic field um, given by the charge, the distance between our point and the charge will be our r, our r vector, and uh, the distance between the, the charge particle and the point, that's our um, r. Okay, and this is measured in meters. Is just lowercase m, and uh, the angle that we need for the formula uh, that comes from the angle between uh, the velocity vector and the r vector, and that's given in degrees. Okay, so we now know how to f how to find q v theta and r squared. So that that's all. That gets us set for that part. The next thing we need to do, uh, need to be able to do to solve, to use this equation, uh, is 
be able to figure out what direction the magnetic field um, is moving in. Oh, uh, this, uh, let's, let's see what uh, B is in the, in the equation, what we're trying to find. B is just the, um, it's a vector um, orth that's always going to be orthogonal to, or perpendicular to the um, velocity vector to, to the plane that the velocity vector and the r vector create. So in this case it look something like like that. That's our b vector and that's measured in Teslas, which is uh, a capital T. All right. Um, so yeah, going back to finding the whole uh, the direction, uh, finding the direction when you're using this equation. Okay. So how you find the direction? It's by the right hand rule. If you don't know the right hand rule, this is it. Um, point your hand in the direction of the of the velocity vector, right there, and curl it. So in line with the velocity vector curl it towards r, r hat, your r vector, and the direction in which, uh, in which your thumb is pointing, that's the direction in which uh, b is pointing. So in this case, uh, assuming that v and r hat are along the y-axis, um, we see that if we take v, curl it up towards r, we see that um, B is moving in the positive x direction, as we've uh, drawn uh, in our in our uh, picture. So yeah, we got it right. B is moving in the positive x direction, and uh, that's basically how you use the Biot-Savart law. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.